Guys, back at it for another weekend. Alright guys, make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I've got an update on the uh, bracket that I'm CNC machining up for the cooling system. But this video we're doing is the alternator, so uh, let's get into it. We've got some top secret stuff happening over here. I've got to not show that again. Um, we're going to build this alternator 70 amp. Going to put it, mount it to the engine just like this. Something like that. Uh, and there we are, done. That's not how you do it. Whoa, 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 pull it back. Let's get this done again. Okay, so we just threw in these parts in here. Don't worry about what's going on back there. Top secret. Yeah, and this is a Denso type alternator. Going on to this, uh, this plate here. I'm gonna mount the plate, which I've mounted to the engine. I'm gonna mount the alternator. This hole here is the lower bolt hole for the adjuster. That's the top hole for the adjuster. So it should it should go like that. Something like that. So this is it here. Here's the uh, alternator bracket that I'm gonna mount to the engine. This bit here. Make two of those and we'll be good to go. Okay, let's get this cutting. This is the uh, program, just ready to go. Ultimate belt joining method. You'll thank me later. There you go, out of trouble. You're welcome. Okay guys, so coming soon, we are gonna get this engine wired up and get it running. Uh, I wanna finish off the controls and get this thing back in the water for another float test with power. So, stay tuned. All right guys, custom hose clamps. Here they are, just finished this one. Uh, let's go put it on the plane. Don't do this at home. Let's see if I can break it.
guys, I'm pulling this one up here. So that was just a quick update of these hose clamps. Uh, nothing real fancy, just to keep them nice and neat and tidy. Only small updates, but uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Perfect.